message here some few years ago remove the limits of God the limits you have put over your life that this is how far and how much God can do remove it off your life child of God don't be pious being pious is not part of holiness holiness is, is acknowledging God for who he is and within the holiness of God you have the omnipotent power omnipresent power omniscient power of God that he is the only one and the only God and there is nothing besides him he has no beginning and he has no end sometimes when I begin to reflect I'm like wow who is this man? And then, the day he decided to visit the earth, two personalities sinned. The angel called Lucifer sinned. God didn't go after him. When man sinned, he came. Please sit down in the presence of God. Katala kabakata. I feel the oil of God. Lucifer one day decided that I want to take the position of God and be like him. So he planned it. One day the disciples asked Jesus, how did it happen when Satan was cast out of heaven? Jesus said he fell like lightning. Who cast him out? It was another angel. But this angel was not a singer. He doesn't walk on fire like Satan does. beauty of the Lord he created him. But this other angel for him he was a warrior. I said he was a warrior. The other day when Gabriel was sent to bring message to Daniel, Bible says that he was interrupted for 20 days. Gabriel couldn't break the ram. Though he was also an archangel. And he said, your angel and your brother has come to help me. Michael. He said, he came and made a way for me. He said, as I stand here, he's waiting for me up there. Can I tell you something? You are not alone. Yeah. And when Satan sinned, he was cast out of heaven. I told you some time ago here that the great bang It's in scripture. It's in Genesis chapter 1. The great bang theory. It happened. That there was an explosion. Yes. Dinosaurs. They used to be there. The dragons. They were there. Pastor, are you sure? Give me Genesis chapter 1. Please give me Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. Some of you, your eyes is there. Look at it. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Take me now. Did you see full stop? Oh, please. Please. Uh, Wafa. Who is the one? No, Kika, try. Ka, try. Kika, try. Ka, try. Go with me. Don't need me. Wafa. We're here yesterday. Okay. Did the Holy Ghost touch your tongue? Let him touch your hands today. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Oh, Spirit of God, I'm sorry. Spirit of God, please take over this time. I'm only a vessel. Let the name of Jesus be glorified. In Jesus' name. Amen. There is somebody here you have been experiencing a double personality attack. This is what happened. When you are alone, everything is fine.
When it's not a season of promotion, everything is fine. When it's not a season of moving from where you are to another level, everything is fine. At any time, a blessing is about to come your way. You see yourself behave in a way and take a decision in a way that will always cause you to lose that blessing. The Lord said it's a double personality entity and the person is you. Tonight, God will deliver you. Look at the scripture. So God finished. You saw full stop there. Okay, give me the verse two. Now you are doing fine. God bless you. And the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Now, I can show you a scripture from the book of Isaiah and show you another scripture from the book of Ezekiel when Satan was cast down and then when you read also the book of Revelation chapter 12 when he came down there was a crash I can give you the scriptures now that is not what I'm teaching it just passed through so whatever God did was set And when you read the book of Psalm 4 and Psalm 8 Please give me Psalm 8 Today I pray that we will discover who we are You know something? I don't fear people who don't know who they are I fear people who know they, who they are hey, People who really know who they are they don't talk too much. You go on. You go on. Those of you who are, who are uh, my age, and uh, some a little younger, and those above me, in, in those days, you remember Azuma Nelson? Oh, yeah. Some of the fights, first two, he would stop you. Then they told him, Azuma, get your feet off fight there. He waited. Uh, to him. Boop, 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 boop. I, bah, was more like it. So now, sometimes you watch Azuma as he fights. First one, second one, third one. Then he gets to a point, he says, Aha, I know him. I know where to meet. Then Azuma will open. Child of God, when you are on the wrong road, in the wrong direction, speed is not an advantage. Can I repeat it for you? I have to go this way, and I'm in a hurry. And I, I'm just running for God, and I pass here. And they get confused. They actually confused. They do so. Hey. Look at this scripture. Give me the verse 4, please. What is man that thou art mindful of him? The son of man that thou visited him. A question has been you sitting here, who are you? Can I tell you something? The day you know who you are, it's not everybody who can talk about you and go free. You didn't hear what I said. There are witches, there are personalities, there are people within the family. The day you discover who you are, and you can only discover who you are when you know the God that made you. You may be sitting, sitting here, relationship, one relationship after another relationship. Your marriage, you feel like checking out. Uh, things are not going well. It is time for you to be promoted. Things aren't going well. Child of God, I am here to tell you that if you know who God has made you, child of God, there is nothing that can limit you in this life. Anytime 
time you see delay in your life, eh, watch your life. Go to God and ask God, God, what time is this? Let him speak to you. When you hear from him and say the time has not come, don't be worried. Job said, I will wait for my time appointed. Why did he say that? This was a man. The Bible boasted of him in the book of Job chapter 1. He said, have you seen my servant Job? That there is none like him. There is no man upright like him. In the east, God boasted about a man. There are two personalities God boasted about. The son, Jesus, and Job. Then Satan said, oh yeah, you are right. But I see that is it so? Uh, uh, is it that good? That, he said, no, no. He said, don't you think that he's doing that because you promote him, you protect him, and you bless him? Then Satan went ahead. He said, you permit me. Just give me a small opportunity. I will prove you wrong. Can I tell you something? That is says why it is dangerous to force the hand of God. So-called believers with the cliche that there is, there is a complete will of God and there is a permissive will of God. Can I tell you something? There is nothing like permissive will of God. When God's time has not come, don't make it God's time. There are things that will not work. Before I met my wife and we got married, this year will be 20 years. A young man on the, on the road, 20 years of marriage, just recently. I was somewhere in Action Chapel. The best of Archbishop Duncan Williams, the best of Bishop, B B Bishop James Sa, the best of Bishop Nyaku Enti. They all pull me here. Every time, Freddie here, Freddie here. They boast about me, they talk about me. One time, somebody faced the Archbishop Duncan Williams and said, Why is it that you talk about Freddie so much? I uh, see this your biological son. Uh, there are other children here. Then Archbishop called me home to his house. He said, Fred, Charlie, from today. The enemies were not in the congregation, they were pastors. And then the day came, Satan made sure Archbishop and Bishop James Sa fought about me. Pastors went to put this committee. They said, Bishop James Sa favorites is bread. No other, other senior minister, the Johnson Chapel, no, the other huge ones, they were all there. I was just one of the younger ones there. But you see, every time I was given the microphone, it's not him that will it nor run it, but it is God that showed mercy. There was a season, anything they were doing, all they would do is to give me a microphone to sing. There was one midweek service. The late Ola Williams was in there. Bishop Johnny Jangba was in there. Some of these big people who do praise and worship. Man of God, I was just sitting my somewhere, allow me to use that English, in the congregation and somebody back on me and they called me. They said, ah, come, 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 come. And there's nobody to me. They, this, they said, there is nobody. Say, there is nobody. So you come. Filling the space. And truly, when I took over the microphone, I started singing. The spirit eh, almost flew in. I've seen my parents and other people that many years ago. And I tell them, lift up your hands. Their hands are up. Who born dog? And the power of God was present. Those who were crying were crying. And then, you know something that happened? I was flowing. I thought I was doing well. Suddenly they touched me. Yeah, I said, that 
nothing was done to me twice. In front of the people, actions shall be done. The first one was at the youth church. The praise and worship guys there were not around. They said, Philip. Then they came, they said, then, my own bishop, father in the law, Bishop Samuel Pari, he said, Freddy, go and sit down. Uh, then he told the congregation, we are now about to start praise and worship. I'm preaching on the subject, who are you? And please, I realize that when you want to go somewhere, you must forget about everybody and concentrate. Sometimes I don't feel well. Sometimes I am confused. Sometimes I feel God has left me. But I realize that any time I felt that way, what it meant was that God's own power has taken over everything. Look, the day you don't feel yourself, the day you feel rejected, the day you feel misunderstood, that is the day that God has taken over your situation. If you had me, somebody said yes. God help me. I kept praying and waiting on the Lord. I go to the Atlanta Forest. Eighty years back, twenty-five, thirty years back, I was praying eight hours a day. Do five hours a day. Do another three hours. My God, when I get to that level of prayer, can I tell you something? Tonight you are going to pray. When I get to that level of prayer, when I am told a snake has entered this compound, or a mouse has entered this room, I pray and I say, Mouse, come out and be caught. And I go. I don't look for it. I come back. The mouse has come out. Child of God, I'm speaking to you. There is something of God that is a man that the question has been asked. Please remove my picture. I'm telling you. Madam, this is your last time. You are my best friend. I'm from Software and the wife. Don't try it. Put the scripture back. In case you forgot. Psalm 8, verse 4. Your pony is big, oh. Is it your own hair or the one they attach on? Your own hair. Oh, that's good. That's good. Uh, yesterday I spoke about ponies and I saw a pony. So I'm asking whether it's the one they buy and then they. Uh, you can eat that so or glue it. I beat my wife in the saloon. I beat. They won't let me. But when I see the fake ones and they are walking and they are, oh, I can't watch like Pierre. No, go, no, go, baby. Call your son. They're only telling you, you are around, you are around, you are around, you are around, you are around. Oh, my no, go, no, go, baby. Child of God, or something. I pray, and there was this day when there were 14 or 21 days of fasting in action head of us. I'm showing you something. Morning session, evening session. I was taking praise and worship. I was taking praise and worship. And one of my colleague pastors at my rank went to Bishop Sarah. He said, Bishop Sarah, you are underutilizing Freddy. You, he keeps to tell me that you've come to fast. What is it? It's never been a problem. It's never been an issue. Started to do my praise and worship. I prayed to God. I wait on the Lord. When I lift the song, ah, I remember there was this day. We, I was in a Bible school then, many years ago. I was out there and I was in a class. And then Bishop Sam sends for me. It was 
Man Jericho out. He said, Come. When I got there, he said, Take the praise and worship. We were in class, so they were teaching. When I lifted the song, people were crying. Thousands of people, eight to ten thousand people. The power of God was present. When I finished, I was wet, drenched. I thought I had missed so much in class. Do you know when I got there? The lecturer was sitting down. Because the Bible school was in that same building on the other side, Action Chapel head office. When I got there, I saw all the people in the school with all the songs we were singing. The moment I stepped in class, they all turned to me. They couldn't do anything. When I sat down, where I left off, thinking they had gone, was they started from there. The Spirit of God took over. Child of God, when you are in the will of God and you are in the direction and the place where God wants you to be, I'm telling you, it doesn't matter what fights you. There is a hand. I said, there is a hand. When the hand comes upon you, go and ask Elijah. After he prayed seven times, uh, he sent his servant the first time. He said, what do you see? He said, I can see nothing. Uh, I'm sure the second and the third time when his servant went, he said, oh, master, this is your prophecy won't come to pass. So. He prayed. He went the fourth, the fifth, the, the sixth, the seventh time uh, when he lifted up his head. He said, Master, I've seen a cloud. But it was not just in the cloud. It was the feast of the man. You know what it meant? Your prayer and your pushing has made a mark in the spirit. 2024, and in this fire conference, uh, I declare over somebody's ministry, over somebody's marriage, uh, that there is a dimension in God. Uh, God wants us to step into at that level. Uh, nobody can contain you. I declare that you're on your way to a bigger and a more blessed place. Uh, if you believe it, rise up and shout unto God. The biggest of confusion is life. In life comes when you are almost at the point of breakthrough. There is a day called the day of the Lord. It's in the book of Psalms. Today somebody sent me something on WhatsApp. He said, oh, today is a happy husband's day. Ah. I said, eh? How long have you heard that thing? It was the first time. So, uh, you have, eh? I said, what? I told my wife the first today is happy husband. Said, what one is that one to? Which one is it? Then I said that it means that there will be happy wife day. But this thing, eh, it won't be successful. Eh? Because that area is war. Some is somebody who must declare that I am happy. He's so used from so many times to say, Oh, happy father's day, and they will be happy. But I said happy, happy hus uh, husband's day, not father's day, husband. Where? Me know you are. Hey! Mm. There is a song in the spirit. Oh, hey. Of Jesus name. You don't know this song too. Let it go. 
was prostrate for. You don't know it. Just pro. Church, help me. Learn it, please. You will do well. Bring forth. Bring forth. The royal Oh, let your heart worship the Lord. Simon and Sir, Lord, if your iPad is connected, download the song, listen to it, I'll raise it again so that you play it. Okay. He's doing well. It's not easy to sit up there. Now then, Bishop Sir, after hearing what was told him, it was a setup. I said it was a setup. Satan thought he was setting me up. Can I tell you something? Sometimes. The prayer you have been doing and you think what you are really asking God for, God has not done it. Do you know the things that prayer is building in the spirit? Sometimes what do you think you are asking God for and you have seen God do it? When God does it, the witches in your house will kill you. Why would they kill you? There is a particular sin that is standing. We call it the sin of iniquity. Psalm 94. I was going to teach on it. Verse 20. He says, shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with you by reason of the law? Sometimes God will just deliver you. That is why I say there is nothing like a permissive will of God. Perfect will of God. God permitted it. That is why it happened. No. Bishop Sir didn't give me the opportunity. Immediately. Well, I remember one of my pastor friends, well, they, they were praying. When they raised a prayer, you back with the microphone behind. And then eh, they gave me the mic. They gave me one of the mic. I was praying. Then one day, everybody, thousands of people, Bishop Sir finished preaching the word and raising prayer at Jericho Hour. We prayed for a long time. The place had charged and then he took over. Started making declarations. The atmosphere was open. That was when he called me. And he gave me the mic. Within 10 to 15 minutes, thousands of people were praying. Yes, sir. Then he went to sleep. Kandi miki tabaha tabaka taya. Ah! I said, ah! I said, ah! David understood something. Is that Goliath? You are a renowned man of war. You have fought from your youth. Look at your sword, your shield, uh, and your arrows, your javelin, and everything you have. I am not trained in this way, but there is a God who trained me in a place that is unpopular to men. Uh, and when he trained me, uh, he used a stone uh, to train me. But Goliath, I have a message for you. With that stone, uh, it wasn't a human being I killed. Uh, I killed a bear. I killed a lion. Uh, if you can kill the lion and the Bear. Goliath is nothing. The brothers of, of David, they said, ah, you a proud guy. We have been saying it. Today you will die. Ah, our brother is not smarter. And Saul said, are you able? He said, you are a child. Are you able to stand before this Philistine? He said, ah, I, want, I have a message for you. The other day, with a stone. With a stone. Can I tell you something? 
what takes you to the top and to the place of his power is not attractive to men. Despise not humble beginning. Who told you that, Pastor? There are no programs you can organize for the next three weeks. They can block the Bubashi Road and do all kinds. You can bring any man of God here. But I am telling you, it's not every man of God who is from God and who is of God. If you bring a man of God here, any spirit that is in him is not what he's saying and what he's doing. No. The things and the characters and the unctions that have not been uh, uh, activated, uh, but they are dormant in there. They are the very ones they, they live on the altar. If they have rebellion, the rebellious spirit in them, by the time they leave, your people will start rebelling. Is it true? Yes. I've had men of God who hold the hand of the archbishop those days in prayer. When you hear their voice in prayer, you, you won't pray. Because if it's by voice, no. There are over 200. You are in the negative. It's not even come to one. This man of God was invited to the youth church. In those days I was there. Took us to an all night. Prayed and ministered for everybody. When he got to me, I said, man of God, why did you leave me? He finished everything. Then I said, no. Don't take my confidence in your church. Why did you leave me? He prayed, doctor, he prayed, lay down his head. Why did you leave me? He looked at me. He said, you I would want to go down. I'm saying this thing with humility. Nobody should laugh and clap their hands and do anything. He said, I have, he said, he has to go down for me to lay hands on him. I said, what are you, what are you talking about? And I understood later. Anytime I took a microphone in the youth church and Archbishop is preaching in the adult service, when they hear my voice, people run from there. When I finish, they go. My sister, I was telling you something. The key to God's heart, the only thing God has vowed to reestablish that tabernacle is the tabernacle of David and his praise and his worship. You don't know what you have. If you take this from me, I have no calling. Enter any heart, and enter any level in the spirit. When we get up there, we we'll pray again. We we'll read our Bible again. Who do we pray to? He said, "When we pray, that, that, that there is a storage place. That there are vials where God keeps what the prayers of the saints. He said, an incense unto God. And Jesus is the word. Now you are in heaven." What are you praying to? What shall we be doing? You are wonderful. You are. I have seen the presence of God manifest in many dimensions. God is building something. You are wonderful. You are. You are worthy. You are worthy, O Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O Lord. Amashio sanita fale. Keya. 
I see people here. Life has pushed you to a place. You don't feel qualified. You don't feel accepted. I am telling you, you are in the right place. If you will give God your attention, he will take over. perfect is God. It was recently I got to know that God doesn't live in heaven. The Bible says that the heaven is a is sitting place and the earth is a resting place of his feet. Some of you know that scripture. Go and read the Bible. He said he lives in the heavens of the earth. I'll show you something. Have you heard the Bible say that promotion does not come from the south, the east, or the west, but it never made mention of the north. The north, Satan said, let me exalt my throne above the Lord in the north. God dwells in the north. In that place, even scientists today have realized that at that particular place, there's a serious void and there is nothing there. That is where God is. Why? There is nothing that supports life there. That is where he lives. Life comes from him. He is life. When you die, he can raise you up. When you are down, he is the lily of the valley. He is already there, down there. when God appears, the reason why the 24 elders and the four living creatures and the host of heaven can't stop worshipping him continuously, they do it forever. Anytime he appears, how you saw him a second ago, the next second is different. And God has never repeated himself. Can I tell you something? Your limitation in life is in your head. It's your perception. As a man thinketh, so is he. You don't need a million dollars to make it in life. You need a change of mind. of God, I was given the microphone. The first thing that came was you have been set up. You will fail. 
every good story starts with the bad news. Every good story starts with the bad news. Please, when I see people who are married and, and, and having an issue, pregnancy, it delays. And I, you hear people talk. Sometimes I, I've done it myself. God should forgive me. In the past, you see people talking, hey, what, what, what are they doing? Child of God, I realize that such people, the day their season come, give birth to your three, your four, your five, let them be at any position. They will only bring one. That particular child is called Samuel. He's in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 1. He's also in the book of 2 Samuel. He's there. Where the moment he was born to Hannah, you didn't hear of Penina again. You are a sign and a wonder. the grace of God I could see the face of the Archbishop Ajinasari inside your eyes I just saw that and you know something God is going to bring you God is going to use you in the miraculous there's a strong prophetic grace that is coming upon you you know go and kneel before the altar and lift up your hands unto God May the Lord raise members in this church who are in the government. Luchowa Wami Manabi Oni Masha Nathaniel said when he heard from Philip, he said, We have seen the man Moses spoke about Jesus of Nazareth. Nathaniel said, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? I am telling you, the best is in Nazareth. I sense the fire of God in my bones. I sense the fire of God in my bones. This young man kneeling down there, let the hand of God touch him. Let the rivers of living waters on your inside flow. Let the grace of God, let the power of God do it. Let fresh oil from on high come upon you. I declare one thing that will fight you is pride. But let God take it away. Man of God. Satan said you have been set up. Bishop James, ah, you didn't do it well. And that day, my daddy was behind the mixer. I wasn't told. He just when I took over. Moment I took over the microphone, said the unction, said the unction, said the oil, said the oil. I thank God that the oil doesn't belong to anybody than the Holy Spirit. And He gives it to them who have a broken spirit. What do we call a broken spirit? A heart or a spirit that has got into it's end and everything is gone it's good as dead and there you look up to God for when 
voice can be my help. My help can be from God. Have you seen somebody dying before? And you bring his car keys of his Rolls Royce, of any bank, um, um, any money he's been looking for, and it's in front of the person. And the person ever acknowledge, no, there is something more important in this life. Money cannot buy. Nobody can give it to you. It is only God. He said, who can worry about his life? And can add a moment to his life. Let your spirit be here. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Child of God. Sorry, I only use my leg to help. Amen. Child of God. When I took over, and the Spirit of God came upon me, and I remember that word till today. What I'm talking about is about five years ago. God bless you. Even my daddy died this year will be 14 years. Hey, it's been long. Over 20 or something more years. I don't know about 20. And then when I took over the microphone, I heard there are 70 people here that the power of God is coming upon you. And I see things holding you moment I said, I said from the front to the back to, and I remember I pointed to the left side of the auditorium where I was standing facing the people. The people were falling, manifesting. The pastors were rushing. Got down there, casting out devils on the right. When I finished, it was only for a short time. Nobody took the microphone for me. When I finished, I gave the microphone back. When we closed the Jericho Hour that day, those days when we closed Jericho Hour, the pastors will not go. We'll stand on the up there. Then the people will come in lines. Who they want to see? Bishop James will encourage so that there are people who need counseling, they need prayer. That day, we closed Jericho Hour at 12. I left there three something. Say three something. People started flooding the action branch. I had started in Ashoma. Everywhere I went. There was a time in that Chimota Forest. Are almost about 300 people. One of the stations, station nine, are people coming with land cruises with soldiers guarding them. People from all walks of life. That is a season. Let me tell you something. God doesn't like nice people. God doesn't like people who are confident of themselves. He likes people who do it some way, somehow, and are misunderstood. All he needs from you is a heart that is ready to surrender. Oh, I can feel the wells. Mm. Somebody lift up your right hand. In this book of only wise in thy spirit. Somebody worship the Lord wherever you are. Much pleasure. Oh, 
from you is that Lord have me just as I am. an oil from the Lord here. In the book of John chapter 4, and Bible says, and Jesus was tired from a journey. He entered Samaria. When he got there, he sat on the well. The disciples went to buy food, for Jesus was hungry. And Bible says it was time for women to fetch water. And there was a woman that came. Ah, this Samaritan woman, when she arrived, Jesus said, give me water. The woman said, I'm a Samaritan. You are a Jew. You are not even ashamed of yourself. I think you are not a proper Jew. Then Jesus said, give me water to drink. Then the woman engaged Jesus in the conversation. But child of God, there are some few things I want to point out to you. Child of God, Jesus said to the woman, this water you are drinking, you will come again and fetch. But I can give you water. I can give you water. I can give you water. That will spring up into a fountain. 
into a fountain. And Jesus asked the woman, Why is your husband? He said, I have none. Jesus said, You are spoken the truth. As a matter of fact, you have been with five. The one you are with, that is the sixth one. He's even not your husband. Then the woman said, I can see you a prophet. Then the woman, he said, Tell me. You Jews say we must worship in Jerusalem. We say on this mountain. What should we do? Jesus said, you Samaritans don't know what you worship. But we Jews, we know. He said the people that know their God shall be strong. You can be a Christian for 30 years. You may be part of the people that signed and started the church and registered the church. Child of God, you may not go anywhere until you discover the God of the calling. Thank God, the only elders we have, they are in heaven. We are all children of God. And we have a senior brother. The first one of all creation. His name is Jesus. Holy. Holy. Are you Lord God? Are you Lord steps out of your seat and head toward your pulpit the altar, five steps the closer you are, the better you can go beyond the five and get closer God bless you please spread out please spread out, fill in here oh, where you were was okay but I'm talking about the people behind you Yes, my sister. Please, let me hear. Feel the place now. My sister, I know your face. Here. That is all I know. But I'm seeing everybody. But my eyes keep coming on you. And what within me that God wants to deposit something in you which is already there and I see the Lord take you to another realm here and I see the hand of God I don't know what you do now you hear this man another man me I don't know but I see God and you know something anything you are going through and you are prayed about for all this while he God he's behind that is why that change you are looking for has not come in haste. God has tied it up to a season. And I say, God, where do you see? Man of God, who is, who is he? Yeah. You are telling me. God told me before I stand here. God is going to use you. This woman, 
is the reason why you have come this far and is the reason why you will go far. I will show you something. This woman, she prays for you. And she likes to be behind. And that is her. Don't force her. She's more fertile than you think. I see God's hand. And please, I see a lot of you here after this prayer. Look, I'm not going to put my hands on anybody. This time you realize that when I came here, no prophetic I see, I saw. Hey, what you have to see is the word you have heard. The next thing you have to see is the word manifesting in your life. That is Jesus, like the woman at the well. And your life will not be the same again. What haven't we seen? I hear a prophecy came in Nigeria to tell them who will be the next president of Nigeria before the election. And it was true. But it didn't come to pass. Prayer. One thing they didn't do was to pray. Can I tell you something? The Lord has been impressing on me that we must pray that that history will not repeat itself in this nation. There are a group of people when they take over less than six months. You and me, the way we dress, everything about us change. Lift up your hand. And they have said their season has come. And I can tell you, it is not in the will of God. But it, it is not God forbid. MPP break the eight. Yes. Pastor, how? Spiritually. Is it God? No. They can break it. somebody who was close to the president to go and tell him that the Lord said that word should not be used. It's like calling somebody a fool. And any time you call somebody a fool, since man was created in the image of God, you are insulting God. Even the madman is not a fool. And the Lord said, if they don't, he said, their rule will be worse. It was right from the beginning. We've been in Ghana. They had all the best. I said they had all the best. Please put your politics aside. No politician knows my house. They don't pay my children's fees. I pray with some of them in big, big positions. Hey! If you lose, I'll tell you. What are they? You lose. Lift up your hand. Some of you are waiting for the next party to come to power so that you make it. Your contract will go through. I have seen God give me a word for somebody whose party was MPP and it was NDC's time. And the Lord said, and the man was so disappointed that the MPP didn't win. It was Mills time. And he was so bad. And I said, God said, I'll say the Lord that this is a season that you would rather get contracts. He didn't believe it. When President Mills came, he worked until he, he was running away. Contractor. Everywhere. Two different people God said that about them. And God fulfilled it. Child of God, if you carry the word of God, you are carrying something. Now let me show you something. There is a key in the spirit as we speak now. The key is a key to your next level. 
prayer. Take you there. And you get hold of a key. When you get hold of a key, understanding shall be yours. And when understanding comes, doors of nations shall be open unto you. Lift up your hands. I see people here with a prophetic gift, healing gift, evangelistic gift. I see people in the area of intercession. I see, please lift up your hands. The prayer is simple. Oh Lord, locate me by your grace. The prayer is simple. Please, whatever I say, say after me and you will clap your hands and pray. Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, say right, right now, say tonight, tonight. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, I ask for mercy, I ask for, I ask for, your, forgiveness. for your forgiveness. Forgive me, oh Lord, me, oh Lord. Of, all of all my sins, my misbehaviors, my, my iniquities, my, my transgressions. Say, oh Heavenly, oh, Father, Heavenly Father, Father, forgive me, oh God, for, me, oh God. for your word declares out, out of the mouth of, the mouth of babes of and suckling, you have ordained. Strength, strength. Your word declares what, what is man that, that thou art mindful of mindful and the son of man that, that thou visited. Say, oh Lord, 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 I ask so oh God, let your, let your grace say, let your grace in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus locate, me locate me now. now. Now, now, say, oh Lord, oh Lord let your grace, grace look at me right now. Let the mantle of prayer, of prayer, of, prayer, of your grace, of your understanding, of your spirit, fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Clap your eyes, open your mouth, begin to pray. Lift up your voice. Somebody clap your hands. I don't taragata. I create you. I don't go to her. 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 I don't go to her.